going on guys? This is one with Liberty Graphic Designs. And if you want to know what I'm going to do with this football, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Coming back right after the intro. See you in a little bit. Okay, so uh, some of you keep asking me to do um, more videos about embroidery. So and that's what I'm gonna do. And I actually, I can't remember who sent me the link to uh, some people that are actually doing embroidery and, and uh, footballs and baseballs and uh, basketballs and you know, all that kind of stuff, soccer balls. But um, I thought it was kind of cool, you know, the way they're doing it. So I was like, I'm gonna buy me a football and I'm gonna try just that. So that's what we're gonna do on this one. Uh, so let's cut open. Let me go get a deal so I can get, so I can release the, the air. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get the air out. That way we can uh, that way we can cut it open. So there you go. I got most of the air out. So now I'm gonna cut it open. But before I cut it open, I wanna I wanna open this box that I got from uh, Stitch Quick. He sent me something, I have no idea what it is. So I'm gonna let the air, you know, come out of that ball. But let's check out, let's check it out and see what he said. And see what he sent us. Oh cool. Send a sticker, a sticker. Cool. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. There you go. Is it? Is it right? Yeah. Stitch quick. Check him out guys. Pretty cool. And he sent something. Oh, okay, cool. He was talking. He was telling me about the little needle alignment tool. We don't need that box. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. It says toner aid. I can get that little box now. Emulsion? Yulano Orange. Cool, I like Yulano Orange. Make sure that's what's inside. Yeah, it looks like a quart of emulsion. Cool, thank you. Thank you very much. That's a quart of uh, um, Yulano Orange. Nice, nice. So this, thank you, uh, uh, Stitch Quick. So this should be ready to go. So I know we were talking about in the live feed the other day. What should I put on this ball? Well, this is what I came up with. This is what I'm gonna put on it. It's gonna say Liberty Graphic Designs 3,000 subscribers because we're coming up on 3,000 subs. Ha! Ah, but let's get this open. Let's see if I get it. Ne I never make it in the trash. Never. So let's open this. <laughs> Not open. Let's cut it. Let's cut the thread. So <laughs> I know there's going to be some of you that actually done this in the past. And uh, probably know how to do this. And you're going to be like, you're doing that all wrong. This is my, this is my first time um, that I'm going to do this on a football. So if I'm doing something wrong, bear with me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let me cut that open, okay? This is not, just so you know, this is not real leather. It's uh, synthetic. So, see that? So it should be easier to embroider. There you go. So on this ball, you can actually embroider this, this wedge as well because it's, there's nothing on it like but this two have something on it but I'm just gonna use one and uh, just to kind of just to protect the bladder I'm just gonna embroider see how good that is yeah that's pretty good so just to protect the bladder I'm just gonna embroider this side 
There you go. So I'm just gonna blur this one. That way the uh, threads are gonna be inside of here and they won't be um, rubbing against the, the bladder. Okay, so let's go over to the embroidery machine so we can embroider this. So let's hit start and it's gonna start with black. It's just gonna do an outline in black and then it'll come back and then I'll do the uh, puff. And of course, the black comes off. Now we're gonna put a piece of foam and that will create the actual 3D. Okay, so the uh, camera, the camera, if you guys hear that noisy sound is the AC. So the camera quit running, but the, uh, this thing is done embroidering. And that stuff, I mean, I wish you guys can see it. It looks awesome. I mean, let me see if I can show you the 3D. I mean, that thing is thick. I mean, it's, I mean, you can see it. See how far my finger goes in there? Can you see it? Yeah. But see that? That stuff looks really nice. I just gotta clean it because it still got some fuzzies in there from uh, from the uh, foam. That's a little trick to get rid of the uh, to get rid of the fuzzies from the foam. You know when the foam's sticking out but that stuff looks really nice so now all i gotta do is obviously clean it like if it's got some little pieces of thread clean those out one final look look at that look at that look at the puff <laughs> can i get it to zoom or to focus do that Cool, so let me sew it back up. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put this together now. I'm gonna sew it, sew it back. Um so here I am with the I'm gonna use this uh, smaller sewing machine. I have a big one that is more for like leather work. And that one will be that one would have been perfect for this, but um I'm gonna use this one because the other one is it's like it's in the back room and I don't feel like going in there and uh, taking it you know, all the stuff out of there so I'm gonna put it together I already put it together one time but there was a little gap that was missing or I didn't sew it right so I'm gonna try to sew it again all right so let me point this camera down so you can see <laughs> my my sewing skills which are not they're not that great. So let me point the camera down. So 
There you go, that's half of it, or one side. The way it'll stay, the way it'll stay in place and it'll help me, you know, saw it straight. Okay, so that side is already sewn. So now I'm gonna sew the other side. But notice how I'm only doing like a little piece. I'm not sewing the entire deal. So I'm just gonna sew this side now okay so i know normally you sew it all the way across but since uh like i said i already sewn it one time and it was like that piece see how that piece is not straight let me see if i can show you no i can't really show you but yeah right there that piece is not straight so when i sewed it it didn't even sew that part i moved the camera on the other side so you can see better I'm gonna make sure that this is straight. So right now I'm following the leather part, not the not the edge. I'm making sure that the uh, leather, the leather part is actually straight. Let's check inside. See? I just want to make sure that that everything is sewn correctly. And it looks like it's good. So there you go. It, um, it's all sewn back together. So now I got to flip it. You got to flip it around now, which is not easy. I know when they flip them around, they have like a stick and you just push it in there. But I'm gonna do it the hard way. I know some of you probably have a trick to flip this inside out or right side in. I didn't take the laces all the way out because I, I wanna leave them right there so I know where to start. Almost there. And I know some of you is gonna be like, why don't you use a stick or a broomstick or something? Um, Cause I don't have one handy. Well, there you go. Actually this time, <clears throat> so there you go. Let me grab the bladder and let me show you how, how to put the bladder back in. Okay, so the bladder, the little nipple for the bladder, it has that little ring around it. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. And it's really hard to get it in there. So what I did is I'm gonna put a piece of string, and this string is pretty strong, okay? It's not your typical sewing string. Um, this string is like the type they use for, to sew leather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the string. Okay, so once you put the bladder in there, you know, take the string and pull the nipple right through it. Oops, let me stand up so you can see. And just kind of wiggle it around. Because you will find out that this is really tricky to get out. There you go. And the nipple's already through. So just kind of fix this back in there. This piece of... um. It looks like backing. It looks like uh, stabilizer felt. Just make sure the stabilizer fit. It fits over the uh, opening, and then inflate it. But don't inflate it all the way, so you can tie the the 
the laces back in. Okay, so I'm gonna air this up. So there you go. It's uh, it's not inflated all the way because uh, I don't have a needle for this lace. I only put the first lace to, uh, in there. I need to go get a needle for this lace so I can so I can thread it back and uh, but right there. It's upside down. No, it was right. There you go. I'm not at 3,000 subscribers yet, but uh, I just did it for you know for that reason. And then once you get you know once you inflate it, the ball, make sure and take. Uh, let me see. Can I get it to focus right there? Make sure and get you. Make sure you get this uh, string out. So again, it's already in there. You don't need it there anymore. So there you go. The string is out. All I gotta do is put the laces back in. So it looks complete. So there you go, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and ding the little bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh. Maybe I'll send this ball to one of you on the 3,000 subs. So stay tuned for more videos coming up. And I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Share. Make sure you share this video with all your friends, everybody that you know. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will catch you on the next one. See you later now.